Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So determine if this series will converge or if it will diverge. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so if you uh, if you look at this, uh, if you look at this fraction, you've got the uh, the, the uh, numerator over the denominator. If you remove something away from the denominator, then the new fraction will will be bigger or equal to to the old fraction. So, for example, if you have let's say five over eight, if you remove something, if you remove two from from the denominator, then uh, then you can actually say the the new fraction will be bigger or equal to the old fraction. So, so really, here you've got your denominator, remove the two, so you can actually say the, the overall thing here will be bigger or equal to this overall thing here. Okay, so, so, um, so this thing will always be bigger or equal to this thing. Now, if this converge, then we can immediately conclude that this will also converge because, because this is greater or equal to this thing here. So, so this being greater or equal to this thing here, if this converge, then this will also converge. So it boils down to us trying to determine if this will converge or if, or if this will diverge. Um, so, 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 so if you look at this, um, you, it contains n factorial. So when, whenever it contains factorial, then you, then you should be thinking about the ratio test. So with the ratio test, so remember, we are trying to determine this now. So with the ratio test, you always need to compute this value here. But the thing is, uh, as n tends, as n moves from 1 to infinity, this will always be positive, this will always be positive, the whole thing will always be positive, so we don't really need the absolute sign here. So a n plus 1 would be this, and then you divide it by a n. Dividing by a n is the same as you multiplying the reciprocal of a n, which would be this. So um, so 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 this value here equals this thing here. So now it, it boils down to us trying to tidy this up. So hang on. So tidy this up. Uh, imagine this block as three to the power of n times three to the power of one. Uh, imagine this one as n plus one multiplying with n factorial. So now now this this factorial here will cancel out with this. So these two will cancel each other out, and then n uh, three. 3 to the power of n will cancel out with 3 to the power of n here. So all that you're left with is, is the number 3 over n plus 1, over n plus 1. Now as n heads towards infinity, um, the, the limit will be, will be well, as n heads towards infinity, the denominator will just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, making the limit equal 0. So remember, when it comes to the ratio test, when it comes to the ratio test, you always need to compute this value here. If this value here is less than 1, then it will converge. In our case, it is less than 1, so it will converge. So going back to here, going, let's, let's start all over again. We were trying to uh, determine if this series will, will converge or if it will diverge. We, we, we realized that if you remove something from the denominator, then this, this new fraction will always be bigger or equal to the old one. Well, We've just concluded that we we just concluded that this thing is going to converge because we we compute we we use the um, the ratio test so we computed this value this value equals zero well if it's less than one then we can conclude that this thing is going to converge because it's less than one so um, so this thing here is going to converge therefore we can immediately conclude that the the thing that we were the series that we were trying to investigate right from the start will also converge. So our series here will converge. Okay?